There are still people that are getting sick. There are still people who are still dying in this pandemic. Cases are going up in some states while deaths are overall down. So who, who is dying? I mean, if you've been watching for a while, you know that we predicted kind of like this situation more than six months ago, that it would remain, but it would kind of be a thing where there's some people who can't get the vaccine. There are some people who might not have had access to it yet, maybe in the US, but it's mostly people sort of opting into this, unfortunately, and the numbers are starting to bear that out. I wanna show you a bit of a video of Dr. Anthony Fauci talking about the efficacy of the vaccine and how it's influencing who gets it and who doesn't. Look at the number of, of deaths, about 99.2% of them are unvaccinated, about 0.8% are vaccinated. Uh, no vaccine is perfect, uh, but when you talk about the avoidability of hospitalization and deaths, Chuck, it's really sad and tragic that most all of these are avoidable and preventable. Yes, most of all of them are avoidable and preventable. So um, regrettably, because our media sucks, you've probably seen more headlines about a blank person who was vaccinated, got the virus anyway, Rather than what you should know, which is virtually everyone who's gotten sick isn't vaccinated and that you could massively cut your chances if you were to get it. Even by the way, against the Delta variant and the other variants that are coming. So uh, recent information out of Israel, I say this because maybe there's a chance right wingers will care about it if that's the source for the information. But uh, the Pfizer COVID vaccine appears to largely prevent hospitalization in serious cases. Um, uh, but it's significantly less effective against preventing the spread of the Delta variant of the coronavirus. So it isn't necessarily as successful as stopping people from becoming a little bit symptomatic and spreading the Delta variant rather than classic COVID. But the sickness you get tends to be much less severe than it would be if you didn't have it. And there's another study from researchers at the Hebrew University and Hadassah University Medical Center said that the Pfizer vaccine is 60 to 80% effective against infection from the Delta strain, which is obviously lower, um, but I've looked into it and um, no vaccination is 0% effective against the Delta strain. So it's still beating that. And unfortunately, like it's still like, well, like we said, JR, like a lot of people have access to it and just aren't taking it and it is starting to spread. Not universally, but there are pockets of some states where we're seeing a lot more cases and it is possible that we could be entering into another wave but it's going to be a very different wave than we've had so far. Yeah, and uh, you know we'll see how that goes because um, there's all again there's all these factors that that push people to this degree, and you may see where those people's thought processes may lay out in this new approach or this new thread to how these things are spread. Now you may see it in certain pockets that you've heard certain pockets talk about how much disdain there is for the virus. I mean, when it comes to science and math and numbers. They kind of don't change just because mm -hmm. we want them to. They'll change based off of actions and results. That's how facts and figures work. There's a cause and then there's an effect. You know, it's this whole thing about science I heard. And yeah. when the cause is happening and then the effect is what you've changed or what you've altered to make sure the effect is different and some choose and some not to, the numbers are just gonna fall into place for the way it is. That's just how science works. Nobody can control that. And I feel like I'm talking to kindergarten class, but that's the argument that we're having. Mm -hmm. Is whether or not what has been put forward to help with the effects of something, if you don't choose to take part in it, that's fine. I'm not mad at anyone for that. I still feel like a lot of the anger comes from people who are mad for people who have taken those precautions. Hey, if you think they're gonna all die and grow, you know, a new leg out of their neck, laugh at them when the leg starts growing out of their neck. Just sit back yeah. and wait. Then you know, I don't get the anger over it now. There's also the anger from the other side. I don't want to negate it completely from like a lot of left folks or even neither. I don't call it left or progressives, just people who've decided to accept the science um, that maybe are angry at other folks because they do affect their communities. But that's beginning to lessen now. It's going to affect the communities that have either not had that access to it, which sadly would be the case, or ones who've just chosen not to. Um, we're going to see it as it comes. And all yeah. we can do now is just watch. Yeah. Uh, and last point I want to make of this, um, someone in the chat, I think it was Tyler said, uh, uh, all the waves have been different, which is totally true. Every one of the waves has been different, but the last big wave we got was you know, over the winter into January, February and the beginning of March and all that. 
Um, and that was before the vast majority of people had access to the vaccine. This is the first one that we're gonna have where effectively, if you wanted it, you could have had it. For the most part, not for everyone, but for the vast majority. And um, we could potentially have a wave of just people who've chosen not to. And uh, I understand, I we're fake news, we're bastards, we're commies. I don't want you to die, conservatives. It doesn't have to happen. You're choosing to. And I have tried for a year and a half to get through to you. And I just can't because unfortunately, you've chosen to go with other people. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.